Okay, so this is another problem that I got from the NCWES, Electrical Sample Questions Plus Solutions. Um, the question here is to find the range of K for which the system is stable. So we're going to go ahead and use the uh, root criteria. And how to do that, you basically add a K at, the, uh, at your characteristic equation. Okay, so we have S cubed here. 4s squared plus 6s and plus 8 plus whatever you have here the denominator so that's plus k if we had um s plus 1 we would still add k times s plus 1 over here okay so we can um, use our um, what do they call it again uh, order of the polynomial we're gonna follow that so we have s cubed s squared s and s zero so we have s squared s one right and then we have s zero and that's one so the way to do it is that um you put your coefficients f odd ones so you, you put them on the f in the first uh, um in the first row so the coefficient for s3 for the odd numbers how, okay first of all how many odds odd numbers do we have so we have three and one right so the coefficient for the uh, ordered three is one so we put a one here the coefficient for again odd numbers right so this two is even here is a one so we put a six six why did i write s okay one zero is even is considered even anyway so we wouldn't write that at all okay now even numbers even um, orders here we have a four this is um, a one here let me put one here so that's odd so we don't put it um, four and then zero now this whole thing is considered to be to the power zero because anything to the power zero is equal to one Right, so if you multiply by 10 to the power 0, s to the power 0 rather, it will still give me the same thing. And 0 is considered even. Okay, so I write 8 plus k. Now, the way it works is that you multiply these, um, uh, this minus this over this over here. Let me use colors. It's kind of hard to explain Ruth. You, I guess it's better to just watch um, how to do it and I will actually upload more videos so that you can get a feel of it but that's how I, I learned it in class that's how the professor um, taught us how to do it I didn't even try to understand why I just wanted to um, get the answers right and that's what we need right for the FE just get the answers correct unless you control system then you would care but I'm not I just want to get the answers right. Okay, so the way to do it is that um, 1, 6, 4, that, and then you multiply this, so that's um, uh, 4 times 6, that's 24, and that would go over here, that would go under this, so I have 24 minus this times this, like you would do it like a determinant, for instance, for a matrix, you know, kind of like that, but the exception here is that you would divide by this one over here, so you have minus... 8 plus k over 4 okay and then for your coefficient for 0 then you just carry this one out so that's your 8 plus k you just carry it out now for the system to be stable your first row um, <coughs> column of your root criteria got to be uh, positive okay so if this is supposed to be positive what's k so if this is positive that means k is greater than minus one so we already have one k one um, condition and this one also got to be positive well we already know that one is positive right four is positive here because we don't know the value of k which we were trying to find we have to equate this uh, we have to make this positive and in order for that to happen the numerator has to be positive right so we have 24 minus 8 minus k 
k has to be positive in order for the system to be stable. So we're going to solve for um, k. Here k is greater than um, 24 minus um, 24 minus 8, that's 16. So we already have a range here. We have two ranges, so we're just going to put that up. And therefore, let me use a different color, k is therefore between two numbers. So we already know that k is supposed to be greater than um, 16, right? And um, greater than minus 8. So we have minus, got to be between minus 8 and 16. And that's it for finding um, range of k using um, Ruth criterion. So I will, I will do other examples because it's not um, it's pretty easy actually if you really look at it all you need to do is just set up your equation here and um, you know adding your numerator it's a method right so you just need to know how to do the method um, and then you put your um, coefficients here so you put your orders s3 s2 s1 s0 if you had s4 or s5 we would put it like that and then um, your odd uh, coefficients, you put them here. So the odd first one is 1. If I had a 2, I would put a 2 here. If I had a whatever I have, I would put it here. And then etc, etc. So my odd values are just 1 and 6. The um, even numbers for the next one would be 4. And 0 is considered even. So you put that in there. And for the third row, the third um, yes row, you actually multiply this times that like this minus this over that um, that's it and for your um, s to the power 0 you just carry the 1 and actually you can prove this why it's 8 plus k let's do it real quick it's not that bad because you don't have you because here this is one column right this is a column because you have one for this whole thing is one column and then this is a column and then you have six eight plus k and because you don't have anything here then that's zero right and in order to get this um, you, you keep going you do this you multiply these two together and four times zero and fortunately for us four times zero is zero so the only thing you need to worry about is multiplying these this times this over that again right so I have this times that so I have 8 plus k 8 plus k times this whole thing 24 minus um, I'm not going to simplify I'm just going to write down so you could see over 4 right remember this times this over that so in this case also is this times this over this so over 24 minus 8 minus k over 4 and you could see that this goes away and this goes away and that's why you have 8 plus k over here but essentially what it is is that always the last term is the uh, correction for 0 so just remember that so you don't have to go through all the calculations over here Okay, 